Hey everyone, welcome to the Man of Attentive Music. I just finished recording three videos for my channel, so I'm a little bit tired and I thought I would do this kind of vlog thing to chill out a little bit and take, you know, a little bit of a coffee break. And yes, just found my GoPro, so I thought it would be nice to record something like that uh, since I don't have to take my camera off its place and yeah try to show you guys around a little bit on how I'm recording a new video series for my channel which is going to be investigating how different fuzzes, mostly cheap fuzzes, uh, perform for alternative rock So and shoegaze, of course. So yeah, I'll just walk you guys around that setup a little bit. This is the place where I record my videos now. This is my band's rehearsing space. It's way better to record YouTube videos than my old uh, rehearsing space. And yeah, we leave all our gear here kind of set up, pre-set it up. Uh, so just come and don't have to drive around with gear, heavy gear anymore. So everything is here like amps, drums, whatever instruments, uh, just bring like the basic stuff, like coffee for example, and everything is kind of set up. And I am the one that uses this space the most since I record my YouTube videos here now. It's a very nice place to record videos since the acoustics is really nice and I have some cool lights, so yeah, looks good. So I'll walk you guys through a little bit of what I use to record uh, my videos. So this is the place where I sit to record these demos. Uh, this is my trusty old jag, squire jag. And I'm using this guitar because of the whammy bar, which is important to create those shoegaze uh, dive kind of sounds. <laughs> uh, and yes, right here, uh, these are my shoes. We don't use shoes in here. Trying to keep the place kind of COVID free. That's my phone charging. And this, this is the pedal board uh, that I've set up for a video that I've recently uploaded, kind of a cheap, Pedalboard for shoegaze. I've changed some pedals and I've been using this to rehearse, so it's just laying there. So it's always like ready for when I need to use it. And this is the place where all the magic kind of happens, I guess. <laughs> so this is my camera. It's a Canon USR and it's recording my videos in 4K. This is how. This is how the frame on the pedals is going to look for these videos. I've been using this for some time now. I love this camera. And this is how the pedals are uh, set up, you know, for the video recording. So I just use this to put them up a little bit. And so they stay on the frame for the videos. And this is the last pedal that I've demoed. I love this fuzz. I've had this for a long time, so Ibanez FZ7, amazing fuzz pedal. This damage switch is wonderful. I'm using the Hardwire V7 as kind of a reference in regarding reverbs. It's not plugged in all the time, okay? I just plug it in for the end of the demos where I use the gated and reverse reverb to push the fuzzes into a very classic shoegazy territory. And it sounds really nice. This pedal sounds pretty amazing. I don't need to talk about this. You guys know this pedal enough already, I guess. I always try to use these Amphenol cables. They are amazing. So here are the other pedals that I've demoed. This is Twinote Pi Fuzz. This is not exactly a fuzz, you know, but it sounds really good. Here is the pedal that I bought recently. This is the Dan Electro. French Toast, which is a really nice octave fuzz pedal and it sounds amazing. So since now it's kind of late, this late, uh, I can't really do much noise anymore, but I still wanted to record these sounds. So I have recorded uh, these pedals direct through a little bit of a workstation that I've set up here. And later on, I'm going to reamp it on my thrusty Fender Champion 100 amp. That's my coffee mug, by the way. And I'm going to reamp it through that thing with a nice microphone and stuff using the reamp box, which is over there in one of these two drawers. So this way I can record at a neighbor friendly level and still have a very high quality 
sound. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit of that setup right now. The fuzz pedal is going over here into, uh, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see, but into Luis's uh, bass DI plus. The light is pretty terrible into the input and this pedal is sending a really clean di signal into my audio interface so of course i don't have the analog amp emulation turned on this is the core pitch black it's a really thrusty tuner uh, one that i've had for quite a long time actually and everything here is being powered through my thrusty landscape iso power 7. it's a very versatile power supply i quite like it into my audio interface and it's going into my input 2 right here i really like to use these no trick cables they're really really good uh and so i use no trick xlr connectors and uh, reference cable which is a fancy italian cable going into channel 2 of my Fluid Audio SRA2 and here on channel one I'm trying to do a little bit of a a little bit of a voiceover for this vlog because I don't really like the audio in the GoPro but yeah I still don't know if it's going to work it's just I'm testing it out. This is my coffee mug and here is a really nice preamp and my MIDI verb on my desk. I also live in here. Uh, most of the gear in that rack case is not mine actually, uh, it's the band's gear and these two they're mine and this is really nice reverb. So from my audio interface everything is being uh, recorded into my MacBook Pro and into Logic. So uh, here you guys can see all the fuzzes uh, were recorded in this very same project. Uh, this is the a voice uh, recording channel but I just I just run a little bit of a compressor for me to hear it when I'm recording and uh, an impulse response so I can record and don't have you know that uh, raspy fuzz DI signal but uh, I won't upload it that way as I said I'm going to reamp it on my amp and try to get like the best sound possible through a real amp for these pedals but anyway uh, and I'm also running a limiter on the uh, master channel. Then I go into Final Cut and edit everything for YouTube. And that's basically it. Uh, that's how I'm recording right now. I am putting up some pedals for a future tape delay shootout. Analog modulated tape delay type of thing <laughs> that I want to do. I've recently purchased this really nice pedal. This is a D7 by Ivanis. It's a great delay pedal, has some sort of, uh, you know, uh, tape delay thing going on here on the echo setting that sounds really good. Uh, and this, this is probably my uh, favorite Tone Core series pedal. This is the Echo Pock really incredible delay, one of the most versatile delay pedals I've ever used. This thing on the slap and swell settings with the mix turned all the way up, this is pure tape, like, uh, uh, you know, goodness. <laughs> and this tape digital analog selector key here, switch, sorry, is really useful. This pedal sounds amazing. Uh, these are not the only pedals that are going to be in that shootout. I'm still putting up the pedals that I'm going to use, but these are certainly going to be there. This is a pedal that I bought recently. It's probably the weirdest Behringer pedal I've ever seen. Uh, I saw this online listed and I knew the Boss pedal uh, for a long time, but I didn't know that Behringer had like a cheap knockoff of these. I heard these were not made anymore. I got curious about it and I decided to buy it since this is analog. I still haven't plugged it in yet, but yeah. It's probably the weirdest pedal that I have on my collection right now. Never saw this thing before and I'm kind of excited to try it out. So yeah, I received this recently, so it's still on my desk. Uh, besides that, this is a really nice lamp that my father gave me. This was his lamp like during uh, his college times and it was quite dirty. Now it's got a new paint job and uh, the light wasn't quite working. Now it's fixed up and I think it looks amazing. Still don't know where I'm going to put it, but yeah, 
this bad boy looks amazing here at the studio. Uh, this was a little bit of a weird upload, I guess, but uh, it's been quite a long time since I've done some vlog type of thing uh, like this, so I decided it would be nice to upload something like that. Just before I go, here's a little bit of a schedule on what I'm planning to do on the next two to three months on this uh, YouTube channel. Uh, I want to record this cheap uh, fuzzes for alternative rock shoegaze kind of thing, demos. <laughs> I want to have this video on a shootout on tape delays for indie music and I am going to upload, uh, since I found my GoPro, I'm going to upload a vlog that my band has recorded uh, like seven, eight months ago in November, October or November of last uh, year, 2021, and I hadn't found this GoPro until nowadays, so those videos were lost and they're all here <laughs> in this little camera, so I'm going to edit and upload everything, so yes, there's more stuff coming up at the channel and I'm really excited. I hope you enjoyed this weird little video, not so little, but definitely weird, a uh, video that I've just recorded and I hope to see you again on my channel. And if you're still here with me watching, thanks, I really do appreciate it and consider subscribing and leave a like if you enjoyed this. Thanks, goodbye for now.